POV, there's this techie, Big Pete. He just made an appearance in the Badlands, only I'd rather he hadn't. Catch my meaning? I'm sending some info on this static scum your way. Big Pete runs a garage out here in the Badlands, fixes up clunkers for the Raff and Shiv. Before that, he was hustling as a techie in Night City. Now, Pete's not your definition of a nice guy. Soon enough, he made some powerful enemies and had to skip town. Just so happens, Pete's enemies are my friends, and I owe said friends a favor. You make Big Pete eat dust. I get one less favor to owe. It's not hard to find him. Just try any of the Wraith's garages. Whoa, whoa, fuck! Don't shoot! Uh, and the rest of the crew? Wouldn't count on it. So I'm supposed to take the fall for a piece of shit jammer that don't even work? What can I say? I'm Bad luck. Wait! Don't do it! I'll pay you and kiss and see goodbye. You'll tell them you did the job and earn twice over. No can do. Sorry. What if- Welcome back to Tran Wins from Cyberpunk 2077. You're tough as nails, V. A warrior without mercy. Considered a contract fulfilled. Well done. Attention all NCPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported on Sage Gulch Road. Warrants issued for Rufus McBride on counts of practicing as a ripper doc without a license. Record shows three counts of causing permanent disability and one count of aiding in the staging of a suicide. Purpose in hiding among members of the Wraith gang. City is offering a reward for neutralizing the threat and the group concealing him. Over there is having problems. You want to challenge and bring in the talent of flowing quicker than Spanish. Got the advantage, and now you fall behind. Tell them, vanish, I'll manage to make you panic. Go hard to follow. Nobody's got a shadow that's taller than mine. Got this rap shit down to a sign. Tell my alliance is almost to find the laws of the language. We own the alphabet, vowels, and consonants are reclined. We're rapping giants, so we master an English. Hey, new gig on the horizon. 
Militech detained a smuggler by the name of Bruce Welby at the border. His buddy wants him out. It's no surprise, but he needs someone to do the dirty work and make sure Bruce tastes freedom once again. Specifics attached. There's a shooting range over there. Sometimes you need a friend to lean on. Sometimes you need a friend to break you out of an immigrant detention center at the Night City SoCal border. Smuggler Bruce Welby required the latter. Bruce tried to cross the state line with hot cargo in tow, but it didn't work out as planned and now he's been chained up by Militech border security. Already several days. His buddy and Militech employee, Archibald Crane, found out about the situation through the grapevine. I'll be damned if that cuckoo corporal actually decided to help his friend instead of towing the corporal line. He contacted me to get Bruce out of his cage. You're the missing element in this friendship triangle. Find Bruce, break him out, and escort him to his Chumbata Archie. And let's make sure Militech doesn't notice a thing, okay? Get to it. One more thing. Archie says not to kill any corporals, so what can I say? The client's always right. My pro. Wait. You're not Militech. Easy, Chum. Archie sent me. Archie? Archie Crane? The very same. But don't go jumping for joy. Gotta get out of here. Okay, I have an idea. There's a van in the parking lot, unwatched. We can grab it, but there's a one problem. That door over there requires authorization. Check the room by the office. Officer probably has an access shard. I was waiting for him. Sat here long enough. Let's shake that rust off. Don't have to tell me twice. I'm taking fire! Sometimes I'm actually able to drive out without anybody noticing. Brucey baby! We're starting to think we'd never get you out of that dump. Archie, you piece of shit. What? It's because of people like you that camp even exists. I saw you behind the wheel. How much they paying you, huh? Enough for me to buy your ticket out of here. You can thank me later. Right now, we gotta get moving. Oh, and V, if you ever plan on quitting Night City, careful around the borders. Accidents have a way of turning fatal. I don't actually know what that means. Is he? I don't think he's threatening me. V, I appreciate you handling things as cleanly as you did, and exactly as agreed. Bruce was freed and escorted back to Archibald. And the fact that you did it without unnecessary bloodshed isn't lost on me. The payment should be parked in your account by now. Contract closed. So my bonus for not killing any soldiers is right here. We're, we'll get to that in a bit. We're going to go ahead and keep moving around the outer perimeter as we head back towards the city. Since this one's quite a drive, I'll cut to when we arrive. Hey, I 
need your help. I've lost contact with Benedict okay, McAdams okay. and the driver who was supposed to get him out of town. Head to the coordinates I gave you. See what you can find. More details attached. So? Did you think it over? Well, of course. If you can't fit it in your budget. Too scary a sum for all those lightweights at Militech, I suppose. A fixer's worth no more and no less than their last promise, and I promised Benedict McAdams I'd get him out of town once he checked off a job for me. Benedict's one devil of a pro, just six hours in of taking the job and Councilman McLean's heart beat for the last time. That fat fish I'd been dangling on my line too long. The risk of a slip-up was high, so before he set to it, Benedict installed a GPS in his biomon so I could have an eye in the sky on him, as it were. The slickster didn't work alone, mind you. I had a driver, Jason Wilddriver. The problem is, instead of hauling quick across the border, Jason went off route. Something here stinks worse than McLean's fishy corpse. Find them and bring me Benedict. I'll find him a new driver. So this is his driver right here. He counts as a boss, so you can't take him down, he actually, and he does have a health bar. Nah, not gonna work. Better get going. Hear his skull calling for a bullet. No, not worth keeping him here. What? Yeah, I'm still here. Then you tell him either he pays my due, or I scratch McAdams off the map for good. This isn't a negotiation. You buy him, or you don't. Benedict McAdams, delivered alive. Reward, Class A. These access granted doors always take a while. This takes like body 12 to open, I don't have that. Huh. A new face. See, militech has been investing in young talent. So. You here to take me on a little field trip? Why Militech want to buy you off of Jason? What? You missed the memo? That NCC crook McLean. Militech bought him off. Drafted bills he passed without a blink. I took the bastard out. Now they're desperate to find a fall guy. Don't want the NCPD looking too close into the matter. As upstanding citizens would do. Mm-hmm. Militech's gladly gonna pin me for a heap other things, since I'm already here. I can only surmise I'll be so desperate as to end up taking my own life, as they say. Sorry to hear that. I'm here on Dakota's behalf. For Christ's sakes, now you're telling me? I loathe it, this whole playing tough in the face of death thing. Handled yourself well. Should have seen how that fool Jason gobbled it up. Even started holstering in the small of the back like me. All right, let's get you out of here. Oh, shit. Feel like I haven't used my legs for a straight month. Most in that basement. Booze? Cigs? Melons. Those sweet honey melons Dakota folks got growing on genetic mishmash. Miles above any sin melons you could find. Okay. I sat there thinking what I wouldn't give one taste of that sweet, sweet melon. Of course, that prick Jason entertained the thought. Now that we're leaving the Biotechnica Flats, this is the Javelina, so we're going to ignore that right now. We'll drive here, drop them off, and then sweep back northeastward 
towards the city. This car will block you if you park inside, but you can still get out. <laughs> hey, McAdams, over here. Starkey, it's been years. You look like shit. <laughs> I'm a bit indisposed. Looks like you'll have to be my chauffeur. A V, FYI. Dakota's sending over your payment. I would hope so. Nova, thanks. Have a good one. Next up, we're going to collect my gig bonus from rescuing the guy at the Militech station. Get intel that Benedict's safe. I hope this time the driver doesn't disappoint. Thanks V, gig closed. Oh, or this happened on, on my practice run too. Uh, the car just suddenly stops running. I don't know if it has to do with their car or what. I like the Shion because although I don't really use it, I can store a body in this car. Corporation. To them, I offer my own personal heartfelt arigato gozaimasu. In other news, the homeless population in Night City has risen by 300%. The NCPD has announced that it will soon launch a sweeping catch and release program to relocate the vagrants outside city limits. The police are asking any willing volunteers eager to help in the effort to report to their local NCPD station. In exchange, the police are offering the chance of a criminal record reset to those who actively participate. Night City, what does it mean to you? How well do you know its history? Who was Richard Knight? How many stations are in the NCART system? Which city district boasts the best burrito in town? The answers to these questions and more can be found at the address at the bottom of your screen. Check it out and fall in love with Night City all over again. That's it for today's latest. Thank you for spending your day with WNS News. All right, let's race off to the last mission. This is actually a little more dof more difficult. I've had to redo this several times because the enemy will not initiate dialogue once they've been alerted. And to get dialogue to happen in this one, there's two different pairs of guards that must patrol near each other in order to initiate that dialogue. It's not like normal, where they just are standing there waiting for you to approach and then they start speaking. I've got quite an unusual one for you. I need you to deliver Trevor Brass's remains to the address attached. 
The young life inside was snuffed out by a wraith's bullet. Trevor's parents can't bury their son until he's back home. You can help make that happen. I have attached all the info you need. I gotta wait on this one. Talk to him. And these two will talk to each other. I can just ping him. There we go. Bearpaw's here got enough ice in his tub. If he gives off a stink, he'll try and knock down the price. Hey, remind me again why we didn't just stick him in the freezer. You want our scopsicles to taste like death? a little bit of trouble climbing this ladder. I think it's because your character grabs the roof edge rather than the top of the ladder. So you have to maybe try looking straight up and you might be able to do it. Always. Take it inside and strip it there. You really like this pile of junk. What's not to like? All right, that's all of them. Ride. Shot up pretty nicely. Along with Trevor, too. Hmm. What's See this? where this trail of blood leads? See it, Johnny. Thanks. Don't need a sixth sense to follow some blood. Transport's already waiting, V. You can actually drive Trevor's car, but the concrete blocks make it difficult to get out. All right. 
right. Load him in the back. Time to go home, Trevor. V. Trevor's parents can finally give their boy a proper burial. Thank you. Truly. Contract closed. Trevor's last ride complete. Let's start heading in to Night City's Pacifica. This next one's a little bit of a drive, so we will tune in back when I get to this next fixer area. They call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's B. And what? No pleased to meet you. I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. APB to all NCPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported on Pacific Boulevard. Anton Kolev, a known leader among scavengers, believed to be present and wanted on four counts of first-degree murder. Night City authorities have promised a reward for neutralizing Kolev and his entourage. Uh. Okay, well, not quite the power jump I was hoping for, but... Poison smart bullets. Um, I have a lot of points to spend. It's going to go pretty fast though. We're going to go ahead and spend go up to max intelligence. I want at least 16 to get some cyberware, which will increase my critical chance and critical damage. But we're going to go ahead and spend another 4 points so I can get legendary cyber hacks. I definitely will, will reskill later. Um, for example, I'm not really too thrilled with this. I, I haven't, I'm not sure if it's ever taken effect. I, I, don't, I haven't noticed any new quick hacks appearing in my inventory or anything like that. So we will just end up crafting our own using this, which requires level 20 intelligence. Let's see what else we get. Uh, we're going to get that. Increased duration. Sure, critical error. A plague. We'll probably need Hacker Overlord as well. We'll get optimization. 
Let's see here. I'm not too totally sure what mass vulnerability is. We'll go ahead and get that and we'll test it out. I don't really like turrets going live, so I will, however, get turrets shut down, which will turn them off. I'll do it for six minutes, apparently. Sure. And we'll get this one too. So now I can automatically dismiss the first breach protocol as well as reduce the length of these breach protocol demons. We get total recall and total lure recall to, to get cheaper quick hacks. I'm not sure what this means. Increase the duration of demon effects by 100%. So does that does that this mass vulnerability demon? If so, let's go and get that. So I have six points left to spin. I could get, I could max out technical ability. I could start bringing up cool. I'm going to hold on to the points for now. I really like the idea of getting trigger, which will require six investment points of attributes to get to level nine reflexes. It does increase my crit chance by 6%, which is pretty important, but let's see what else we can get. Yeah, I don't think I want anything in crafting. I pretty much have all the crafting stuff I need. Uh, when I maybe start upgrading my gear, I'll probably get let there be light. And maybe efficient upgrades before I do reskilling, but I'll, I'll wait till level 50 to do that. Let's see here. Crit chance of tech weapons. Um, I don't know. I, the only tech weapon I'm really using is the sniper rifle. Okay, no, none of these is something I'm, I'm really, really dying to have. What about body? Oh, I could get some more health stuff. So why don't we get invincible? And endo ep epimorphosis. I mean... I don't know. For three perks, for, I mean, I, I don't know. It's just a convenience thing. Maybe not. I, I, I am low on perks now. Uh, I guess I'll just leave it alone. It's just I like having max health, but realistically, I have as many health kits as I can afford. I probably need to get some of these so that I can do the beat on the brat missions. So why don't we go ahead and get successful attacks, regenerate 3% health. Is this? It's just outside of combat. Okay. All attacks. Sure. Let's do stun. We'll go ahead and max this out. There we go. And this will help me, I think, as I make my way towards beat on the brat, because we're we're getting to that point where there's almost no missions left. All right. There is a cyber dock near here. So let's go ahead and head on over and get my new implants. Last point get less, anyway. All right. So the ones I was looking at are in the frontal cortex. I can get this. I can upgrade this from 30% damage to 45%. So the extra 50% damage. I can get my crit chance. I can upgrade that from 15% to find it. Looks like a little stethoscope thing. 25%. So an extra 10% crit chance. And there we go. I needed 16 to equip both of them. Uh, let me think here. I think that's basically all I need for the time being. I didn't skill, spend any other points. Um, this requires cool, right? Yeah. Okay, and now let's go and start crafting some of those quick hacks. Alright, so really cool thing about these legendaries is they, yeah, they have passive while equipped, and that sounds incredibly awesome. It's like having an extra equipment slot. So, for example, uh, if I just have Contagion equipped, even if I'm not using it, I think that means that my reboot optics will hit more people. Things like that. Um, one of them, let's see here, non-lethal, short circuit, passive all equipped, critical hits with any weapon, apply the quick hacks tier 1 effect, which I'm assuming is, um, I don't have a tier 1 available to show, but it, I'm assuming it's just damage, because that's what it has. It doesn't have EMP effect. Uh, as a tier 1 item. So I'm, I'm thinking this means I get an extra 4,000 damage or something. I don't know. So let's go ahead and start making our items. Does it disappear forever? I don't see Contagion in here anymore.
How peculiar. Now to get build this, I need a blue one. So I'll use one with the green one. Okay. I'm not quite sure I understand why they disappear, but all right. Perhaps I'll come back if I flip back. I don't know. Maybe when I log out of or log out of crafting, but we'll we'll finish up what I'm doing first. So I know that I'm not missing any. Go ahead and craft that. Craft all of this. Great stuff. And worry about sorting them out later. Okay. And now have all the best quick hacks. So my character is a mega hacker. He's got everything he needs. So let's... What I like to do is I like to put these in a certain order so that the game allows me to have reboot optics on one side and ping on the other and so forth. So I need to figure out what what I would remove for contagion. And it's probably memory wipe. I, I haven't really used that because I don't, I don't do a lot of actual combat. So we'll go ahead and pop all these out. I only have a blue whistle. Is there no purple whistle? Okay. Maybe I need to craft a blue whistle to unlock a purple whistle? Let's check. Okay, so here's a blue whistle. I, already, I have a green one in my inventory. Craft that, it's gone for good. I don't know. I'll just craft all this and so it's they all go away, I guess. Okay, it's just weird that they're all going away. I don't, I don't know why that is, but okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop these things in. We want to reboot optics. I try to go by by order of of price tag here. So maybe maybe contagion first, just because it's the most expensive. It's just, it's on the same tier as reboot optics, but I want reboot optics and Sonic on uh, right next to each other. So Sonic is going to be one less than that. Then we'll put s uh, short circuit, which is the same price as Sonic Shock. I guess then we'll put back whistle. And ping. There we go. Hola or Cirrus. Cirrus. No. Franco. Yeah. We are now going to head to the southeast and take on this next mission. Specify coordinates and acquire a certain van for me. And mind the local fauna. By that, I mean the animals. Briefs attached. I was trying to power jump before he made the phone call and I didn't make it. <laughs> Let's take a look at my new breach protocol. Normally, I would only get one thing here and that would just be reduced RAM units. So with total recall, I get two RAM units and then total recall, I get three RAM units. And that's automatically already accomplished with the breach protocol perk that I get. It gives me just one free completion. If I accomplish these things, massive vulnerability, I guess that makes them weaker to, to, to elemental damage. Turret shutdown, I mean, fine, whatever. But optics jammer, that is amazing. It's it's hilarious. It's great. Well, it's, it's it can kind of be disruptive if you're trying to uh, sneak up on people because then they will immediately stop what they're doing. But it, it can also be good for combat. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do this and you'll see. We'll turn on 557A, five, five, E9, and then B. I need a BD1C. So where can I find it? Here's one BD1C. Yeah. So watch. So it, it, oh, and they all get like a little panic thing, panic yelling when I when that happens. So, anyways. Um, right now I can't see anybody, but if I ping, with my legendary ping, I can actually lock on targets and even scan them through walls with, with the legendary ping ability. Which is really cool. 
I can also hack them from here. Mm -hmm. huh. See, everybody's looking at me, they suddenly get blinded. Okay, I thought the turret was supposed to shut down. Okay, so I guess that didn't work. Hello, yeah, I thought it was weird that the turret shut down appeared when I was trying to breach protocol the animal, but whatever. You need to head over to the den of these meat brain animals and clip a van carrying medical stimulants, some kind of modified lidocaine. Keep in mind that stuff's white hot, stolen from Maelstrom. Those metal mongers use this lidocaine for initiation rites or whatever, and the animals as an ingredient for their favorite juice cocktail. In the biz, we call this a shortage. What do you say we up the demand even more? Step 1. Swipe the van. Step 2. I hawk the lidocaine to a few rippers. Step 3. They sell at a market price. Step 4. Profit. It totally says turret shut down, but that was definitely not shut down. Um, I guess we'll do BD55. There is no E9 on this row, so I guess we'll just jump to 7A E9. E9. And I think that's it. I, I don't have anything that has a connection to E. Wait, here we go. 55E9. 7A. There we go. Just want that turret. Hold on, let me try pinging someone. Not the van we're looking for. This one is, that one is not. Check out these tracks though. Go deeper down the tunnel. I'll give you a minute. Alright, now I've got access to the military Militech Aegis. It says turn on, so it was definitely off earlier. We're gonna go friendly mode. And maybe what we'll activate distraction. Can I still target it? Can't can't do anything with this guy. Come on. These two cars passing by, those are scavengers coming in to attack a base held by nomads near the animals.
just raked in a hefty heap of eddies and have those animals see in red. See, I like folks who know how to leave a lasting impression. I think I'll close this contract and hold on to your number for a while. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take on this mission. We're going to skip this one, take on this mission, this crime, and then we'll end this episode here. If I can get it all to about one hour. soldier just opened fire on pedestrians at the pier. If you can swing it, I want him stopped, but not killed. Then I'll send the right people for him. More details are on the way. And V, good luck. Appears to have been killed in a close range fight. Riddled with bullets fired from a military rifle at close range. He's outfitted in full military gear, so he could be a vet suffering from PTSD. But why the get up? Maybe he felt the cyber sequests coming on and wanted to look the part? Something doesn't add up. Grimy. You get a new optional objective to check out the van. Sofia Ramirez. Note the last name. Young woman. The clothing suggests sex worker. Tortured to death several days ago. This guy is an obvious tiger claw. He appears to have been retreating down the pier, shot in the head from a military grade rifle. He also has a conversation. This tiger claw named Dan found somebody hidden. He goes, Check this guy out. Just found him. Bored to the max, barely breathing. And the doctor says, That's third gen corporal cyberware. Keep him alive. That's military grade chrome, meaning military grade security. Gonna be useless once he flatlines. Bring him to me. Alive. Give him some adrenaline and an IV. At that point, that's when the cyber psycho gets loose. Now, as for why the cyber psycho did all this in the first place, we're going to come across another body that, with that information. Go oh, bright. Right here. So this is a group leader. You, you might mistake him for an animal, but I'm pretty sure this is still Tiger Claw, given his conversation. So this is Ken's body. His boss says, The cyber psycho already killed 20 of ours. Ken says, He's hunting us. Can't see him. He's holed up like a rat. And then his boss says, Use the daughter as bait. It's about revenge. Ryan the girls, all that matters. And then Ken says, When he pokes his ugly head out, we'll nail him between the eyes. So I'm guessing, right, what happened is the cyber psycho found his daughter dead. They shot him in the they shot him in the head, and Dan later found him, revived him with an IV, and then the cyber psycho went on a rampage. Trying not to get the corpse. There's the person right there. So what we're going to do is, first we're going to breach protocol him so that we can get massive vulnerability going. We can do the other things too if we want. E955, we need a 7A55 so we can do this. Alright, we're gonna start by Sonic Shock, Reboot Optics, Short Circuit. <laughs> he didn't stand a chance. Now, before you think I was being too harsh, he was also killing totally innocent civilians. These are just regular unarmed civilians that he shot also. And his affiliation says NCPD, so he definitely went off off the off the off course, off the rails. So this is a note that says that Ken offered Ramirez a truce for the daughter. So there we go. 
Let's message Regina. It wasn't easy, but I managed to keep him alive. Glad you made it out in one piece and left our guy alive. Too bad NC's apex predators already sniffed him out, meaning max tech. Probably best if we get out of their way this time. Even though she says that this does count towards your uh, psy psycho killer completion. So like, the, this is my 11th psycho at this point. Gangers picked the wrong tune to mess with. Tigers took a liking to the girl and decided to turn her into a doll. Big mistake. Little did they know that her daddy was ex-special forces, wasting no time in hunting their sorry hides down. Only option they had left was to lure him into a trap. Bigger mistake. Don't underestimate an ex-commander who wants his daughter back. He hunted every last tiger as easily as if he was on a safari. I could do without the fall, the getting up animation, but whatever. Take this black and purple. Okay, our next target, we are going there. This is gonna be a bit of a bumpy ride. A motorcycle kind of works better, I feel. This is the one I actually want. Okay, my mistake. It is it is this one that I want. It is this one I want to skip. This is kind of cool. The, near the gym, there's this walkway where people are falling off the map. Find out what's going on. Just don't disappear yourself. Now this one's kind of cool in that uh, you're expected to get ambushed in here, but because of my one of my implants, it shows everybody that's detected me, so I can actually just shoot the guy. I'm not going to though. We'll, we'll, we'll play it straight. Underpass near the gym. Some homeless folks have been disappearing there. I'd say it's a toss-up between the animals or the voodoo boys, but the attack one eyewitness describes was brutally horrific, and more importantly, there was only one attacker. Now the gate shuts and you're automatically in combat, even though they have no reason to have found me. So normally he's actually stuck behind the, the wall right here. You, you just like right behind that generator. He's just stuck inside the fan area. Alright, so the story on this one is. This guy, he is Space Boy. He contacts Eagle Eye Incorporated to work on the task. Eagle Eye says, pay me lots. Space Guy says, okay, sure, why not? We find you one way or another. Then he sends a message to Bradley. Hey, I messed up. I tried to leave no witnesses, but he messed me up bad. I don't know if they're really here or not, but gotta help me out. It was a VDB netrunner. I think that's Voodoo something boys. I don't know. Voodoo boys? 
Looks like he wanted to move up the ranks by taking over the gym. Don't know what the GIM stands for though. Hired a merc, who he then tries to zero, blowing his own cover from Netwatch. I knocked him out, but he's still breathing. Thanks for keeping him alive, V. I'll have my people come and pick him up. He must have been scared in that VDB den. Attention all NCPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported around Eden Beach Mega Ride. Stanislaus Sabisco likely at the scene. Perp is a known captain among scavengers with multiple smuggling priors. City officials have a reward on offer for neutralizing Zabisco and his group. Okay, so what we really need is just Optics Jammer. Everything else is secondary. like a child. The camera around here, I just don't quite remember where. There's lots of cameras around here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Fuck off. You can also make this a distraction, which only distracts one guy. It's generally the net runner over there.
Who's a shrinking violet? Is it you? There's not much of a story with this one. Um, just basically, I think they killed one of their own scavengers, blamed it on the animals, and are sending the implants back to home. Okay, that is everything except for this mission, which we're going to end the episode with. I didn't take take the direct route because it seems to take you through a mall and it, it actually seemed a little bit longer than, than driving over. If you identify yourself, they will actually use your they will actually give you a nickname which they'll chant later. Hey Umem Lava! Want to join? Come. We have beer. Here. You take. You from where? What's the matter where I'm from? Oh, so then you're a corporal, huh? An agent of Babylon. What are you gonna do to me? Nothing. Sit and enjoy the view. See this? You could all be yours someday. Oh, oh. How about now? No? Any minute now. He just needs to focus. That's all. Will you fuck off already? Never been on one of these. Ah, thanks. No pressure. Trying to get her up and running again? Mm-hmm. A few hours now. Haven't given up yet? Femme <laughs> Bushu. I want a ride. In Jean, we trust. Mind if I give it a shot? Hmm. Be my guest. There's not helping, that for sure. Thank you. Okay, one, you only took one puff of that cigarette, and two, you missed stepping on it. <laughs> so we have to scan the roller coaster. Well, I mean, you don't have to, but it is the next logical step. Safety locks active due to overdue maintenance, subsystem power delivery failure, emergency power off, out of order due to power failure, and active sa safety locks. And then there's where we're supposed to go. Come by here often? When there is time. As you know. The rest of the time, we steal cars and bake sweet potato. As one does in Pacifica. Should be all set to go. Come on, ma. You still yes? Dump the safety mechanisms and switched on the emergency power. Hey, you hear that? 
Who wanna go first? I think I drank too much. What if we stop in the middle? Let her go first. She the one who fix it. Hold my beer. We're doing this, V. <laughs> All right, fine. Hey, that the spirit. We sit back and watch. Do hey, it. She really gonna do it. Babylon. Babylon. You're gonna scream like a little girl. Babylon. Babylon. He's got a very calm face right now, but once it gets moving, he grins. This is the same grin throughout, throughout the whole thing, so we'll, we'll mostly keep an eye on the ride itself. And I will be using the interact button every time it comes up. in this. They only called Babylon if you identified yourself as a corporal. <laughs> Silverhand looks very happy. That was... I almost shit myself from watching you. Bill? You can come with us to the beach, if you want. So? Tomorrow we fire up the Ferris wheel? Hey, anything possible now. Tomorrow we were supposed to kill. This was a good day. 